Hello, dear students. This is your virtual classroom. This is an English lesson for first grade of high school. Our topic today is inventors and inventions. Necessity is the mother of invention, part one. Your teachers today are Anna and Sandra. Today we will talk about inventors and their inventions, inventions that happen by chance. We will do some vocabulary exercises, listen to the dialogue and watch a video. At the end of the lesson, you will have to present one minute talk about your famous inventor and his and her invention or inventions. All you need for today's lesson is pen or pencil, notebook, smartphone or laptop with internet access, and also you should know that you can stop the video at any time you need. Let's get started. Do you remember the title of the lesson, Necessity is the Mother of Invention? Do you agree or not? Does it mean that new way to do things are found and created when there is a strong or special need for them? Or do you think when the need for something becomes essential and you are forced to find ways of achieving it? We can't imagine our lives without many things we use in everyday life. What would our life look like without inventions such as the smartphone, the car, the bicycle, the plane, the telephone, the typewriter. Here is the table with some inventions. Take your notebook, copy the table and try to guess who invented the inventions and when. The following information on the right side of the slide will help you. Here are the answers. The car was invented in 1885 by Karl Benz, a German engineer designer and inventor. The first smartphone was invented in 1892 by IBM and it was released in 1894. It was called the Simon Personal Communicator. The first bicycle was invented in 1817 by German Baron Karl von Dreis. It was constructed almost entirely from wood. The first successful plane was invented by Wright Brothers in 1803. It all started when Orwell was seven and Wilbur was 11 years old. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell, best known for his invention of the telephone. His interest in sound technology was deep-rooted and personal as both his wife and mother were dead. The first typewriter was invented by Christopher Latham in 1868, but it was introduced commercially in 1874. So as you see, the journey of the typewriter was very long. Before we start to watch the video 15 Accidental Inventions You Can't Imagine Your Life Without, please click on the link provided here. You will see vocabulary quiz that is necessary for us to continue with the lesson. When you first click the link, you will see the front page as it is shown on the left side of the slide. Press the button and try to slow the task. You need to match the words with their definitions. Read carefully and don't hurry. The correct answers are Patent The legal right to make or sell an invention Vanish To disappear Scrape off To remove an unwanted covering Commodity Anything that can be bought or sold Crispy Hard enough to be broken easily Booth, a small space like a box. Routinely, used for describing what often or usually happens. Waxy, slightly shiny. Cone, a shape with a flat round base made of thin biscuit. Hazardous, 
dangerous or risky. Cardboard, stiff material like very thick paper. You should know that not all inventions were invented thanks to necessity. I mean, inventors had something completely different in their mind, but what came up in the end was a prize for them. And today, we can't imagine our life without those accidental inventions. Here is the list with inventions from the video 15 accidental inventions you can't imagine your life without. You will watch only first five inventions, which is 4 minutes and 39 seconds. But before you watch the video, try to match the words with the inventions listed in the table. Matches, Teflon, potato chips, ice cream cone, Coca-Cola. After you've done this, watch the video and check your answers. I hope you did your task right. But here is the table with right answers. For matches, the words are wooden sticks, scrape off, fire, cardboard. For Teflon, refrigerant freon, waxy substance. Potato chips, the words are crispy, deep fry, slather. For ice cream cone, booth, bowl, waffle. And for Coca-Cola, coca leaves, cola nuts and soda. And now you have the second task related to the video. Here are five questions. Copy these five questions in your notebooks and while watching the video for the second time, try to answer them. Just to remind you, you know you can stop the video at any time you need. Okay, the questions are number one. Who was John Walker and what did he notice one day while preparing medicine? Number two. What did DuPont patent in 1941? Number three, what did George Crumb do after he received a lot of customers' complaints about fries not being crispy enough? Question number four is, how did the idea of inventing ice cream cone come to Ernest Hamlick's mind? And the last question is, was John Pemberton the one who invented Coca-Cola? Explain what did he do and what was his original idea? And now let's check the answers. Question number one was, who was John Walker and what did he notice one day while preparing medicine? He was a pharmacist and he noticed some substance stuck on a wooden stick he used to prepare medicine. When he tried to scrape it off, the stick caught fire. Question number two. What did DuPont patent in 1841? He patented Teflon. Number three. What did George Crumb do after he received a lot of customers' complaints about fries not being crispy enough? He decided to slice the potatoes as thin as he possibly could to make them crunchy. Question number four. How did the idea of inventing ice cream cone come to Ernst Hamlick's mind? He wanted to help his neighbor selling ice cream who ran out of bubbles and he started rolling waffles in the shape of cone to replace bubbles. And the last question, was John Pemberton the one who invented Coca-Cola? Explain what did he do and what was his original idea? He wanted to make a medicine to get rid of headaches. He came up with a simple recipe consisted of two ingredients, coca leaves and cola nuts, supposed to be mixed with water. But the seller mixed it with soda by accident, and that's how Coca-Cola was created. And now it's time for guessing game Inventions by Clues. For this task, take your notebooks and write down numbers from 1 to 10 and try to guess 10 inventions Timor and his sister Lamia are talking about. Number 1 
I'm sorry, it's not accepted. It seems that something's wrong with the expiry date. Okay, then I'll pay by cash. Number two. I can't see the pilot. Of course you can't. It's guided by remote control. Number three. It's scorching hot in here. Close the windows and turn it on. Number four. My mom is not at home. I don't know what I have to do today. Don't panic. You know that she always makes you happy with colorful messages stuck on the kitchen cupboards. Number five. Do you know that this invention happened by chance? I've heard something about it. I know it all started in China, but I don't know the details. Yes, it's a product of a happy accident at the 1904 in St. Louis. After the ice cream vendor ran out of bowls, his neighbor, who was selling Persian waffles, and started rolling them up into cones and offered them to the ice cream vendor to use them instead of bowls. Number six. I don't feel well today. Why don't you take your temperature? Number seven. I work long hours and don't have enough time for cooking during the week. That's why I always prepare meals at the weekends and put them in the fridge. All I have to do when I'm hungry is... Don't tell me that you use electromagnetic radiation to heat your food. I've heard it could be dangerous. Number 8 I'm planning a trip, but I can't imagine my life without headphones while listening to music. The problem is they're too big to carry. It's not a problem. I'll lend you mine. They're so tiny and practical. Number 9 Do you know what's the best part of my summer holiday? Tell me. Underwater excursion which enabled me to watch abundance of marine life. Wow, great! Number 10 Are you going to put on your boots in this hot weather? Yes, but my boots have wheels on the bottom and I travel along quickly to any place. To check how successful you are, watch the video. And now it's time for your homework. It is one minute talk. For this task, choose one inventor from your country and do the research on his or her work. Think of their life, family, education, inventions, and don't forget to write the importance of their invention to the society. While doing this task, pay attention to the elements of the rubric, which is on the next slide. And finally, Record your talk and send it to a teacher. To help you with your one minute talk, here is the evaluation rubric. Pay attention to assessment criteria. Think of content, delivery, language, pronunciation and time. You can get three points if your talk is outstanding, two if it is good and one if it needs improvement. After your first recorded talk, try to do self-evaluation 
of your task completion. This checklist can help. In case you are not satisfied, you can try again and change or add information you find important. At the end, write down three things that you learned, two things you found interesting and one you would like to know more about. Thank you for being with us. See you again. What it looks like.